Ayana Jordan Monroe. And I'm six years old. And I am grade one. Today I'm going to going to talk about God's creation, which is in Genesis one verse one. Show you the pop pop up book I and my mom made. Look. Now to start, I am going to explain what is a Bible. A Bible is God's book for us. You can trust and rely on. When you open the Bible, the first story is Genesis. One verse one, which is about how God made the whole world. It starts seven days of creation. In the beginning, God made the heavens and and the earth. God separated the light and called it day. And he called the darkness night. So day one was done. Day two, God made a space to separate the waters above the waters below. He called the space the sky. On the third day, God gathers the water together and made a land. He called the water sea. He made grass and plants and trees. Oops, this land. And then on the fourth, on the fourth day, God made the light in the sky, which is the sun. And the moon and the stars at night. On the fifth day, God made all the fishes to, to swim in the water and all birds to fly in the sky. Flat, flat. God said, have babies. Fill the world with splashing and singing. On, on the, this is my favorite part. Right? On the sixth day, God made animals, farm and animals, wild animals, and animals that crawled in the ground. He said, just one more thing to make the, the most special thing of all. So in his image, God made Adam and Eve, and, and he said, have babies and and take charge of the world. Take care of the fish, birds, and all the animals. Then God looked at everything he, he had made, and it was very, it and it's very good. So on the seventh day, he rested. Day seven. Wow, that was a wonderful story. God was very busy creating these beautiful things for us. The Bible verse I am going to share with you is Psalm 139 verse 14. It says, I praise you for I, I, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your work. My soul knows it very, very well. Let us be reminded that God gave us everything, including our soul, mind, and our body. So, my friend, always remember that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you, God, for today that you do love me and that you are with me and you, you have a plan for me 
that's it bye